getting to know them personally with interviews on rock made of metal. It's been three long years of me thinking about you every day. Sometimes for hours, sometimes in past. Monobase is currently doing our first headlining tour with Spray Nerd from Philadelphia as we are. Um, losing sleep for the UK days as well as today. And um, chewing on tin foil for the Ireland days. Yeah. So um, that was awesome. They was, were incredible. They were so good live. So good. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Their harmony is on point. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. It's like a little short run before we head out on another tour with the one year story so far in Narwhals in the US. So it was like the perfect little amount of time to come over and have a little vacation. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even visited Barcelona for a day, played with Basement. That was, that so was much cool. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. The beach. Yeah. Hung out, you know. <laughs> so far, it's been a great tour. <laughs> it's it, it not. It's more of a like, wow, we can't believe we're packing so many things into such a small tour. Yeah. So yeah, we've yeah. like, I don't think I've ever been on an airplane so much in my life. Yeah. Yeah. And just this trip alone. The two of us specifically yeah. are not the best with airplanes. Yeah. <laughs> so we're always like sitting next to each other, just kind of looking at each other, like, no, yeah. it's okay. <laughs> and we've done it on our way to Barcelona. We flew Ryanair. <laughs> Gonna call out Ryanair right now. That was the worst flight I've ever been on. It was, that was terrible. <laughs> It was fucking awful. I thought I was gonna, <laughs> yeah. I thought I was gonna die at yeah. one point. I, I literally turned to Brendan at landing, one point. It was just like, <sighs> but regardless, the tour is going great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The tour is yeah. yeah. excellent. All the shows are, have been sold out. Like every single show. I think the only show that wasn't sold out was Day Two of Ireland. Yeah, Belfast. Belfast. Um, but every other show, Dublin sold time. out. The day of at the door um, but every other show has sold out and we've had like matinee shows on some days we've had like the, we're in the final stretch I guess right now the last like four or five days and um, we have two day, two shows in Kingston same day like and this is Manchester got bombed yeah, yeah this is something we just totally never expected yeah like not only for a headlining show but just for any shows that we come over yeah. to a whole nother continent to play yeah like, so it's been a huge surprise a very pleasant one for yeah at that like the real friends tour reaction for us was crazy um but to think that we would be playing the same venues and selling them out is yeah it's, it's only weird. a few <laughs> only a few months afterwards yeah only a few months yeah. <laughs> it was pretty weird um and great yeah. <laughs> so, same thing. Everyone's been really, really great, really, really respectful. Um, it's mm -hmm. great to see so many people come out for us <laughs> yeah. and Sprainerd. And it's really, I think, honestly, Sprainerd and ourselves are very, very, very happy that like Sprainerd broke up. And then they're like, we're back together, and they came over here, and people are still singing along. <laughs> it's just like crazy. <laughs> more people. Yeah, if yeah. not more, yeah. It's that great. breakup. Uh, Power, I guess. <laughs> there has, oh, there has been an abundance of older, yeah. like there dudes are... and girls coming, just like <laughs> mid thirties on. And every night, I'm kind of like, what? what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, there've been a lot of people who have traveled too, which yeah. is really cool, um, especially when. You know, when we're playing in the UK, places aren't that far from each other, you know? Yeah. So, for people to travel to see our band, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, when we were in Ireland, there was a significant amount of people who came to the Dublin show and the Belfast, Belfast show, yeah. which is crazy. Yeah. You know? That's, and, like, in Spain, we have people saying that they come from, they came from, like, Valencia and, like, all these different places yeah, to come see us in Barcelona. basement. And it's just, like, it's nuts. It's nuts. Yeah. It sounds unexpected. Yeah, yeah. V very. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of been a theme with us. Yeah. <laughs> One of the coolest things when we were in Barcelona, um, the guy who ran the festival actually came up to us wearing a sick MTV shirt. Yeah. I, I just want to add real quick. Um, but he came up to us and basically just thanked us so much for playing. We were like, Dude, you, you like brought us to, you brought us to Barcelona. Yeah. You you really thought we might say no? Yeah. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, just you know, basically telling us that he really wanted to see our band, so he just asked us to play. Yeah, that was so nice. cool. <laughs> this is a large festival too. Yeah. There were probably like a few thousand people actually watching our set. Not yeah. all of them were there for us. There was course. like a solid like 
30 to 40 people there for us, which was crazy. In Barcelona. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> there was like two, 300 people, I would say, there for basement. Yeah. That was that was crazy to watch, because they, even, same thing, they were just like, what the hell? <laughs> they they <laughs> yeah. killed it, too. Yeah. God, oh, man. Band. That was my first time ever seeing them, and whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I've completely changed from yeah, like two years absolutely. ago. Like, I've become way more mature. I understand just the world in general way more. Um, Traveling the world is really uh, an amazing education that yeah. you know you don't get just from looking at a textbook. Yeah. Well done, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're going to miss it all. The jump from sports, our first record to you're going to miss it all, was really, um, it was a big jump for us even then. Like, yeah. the, just the maturity level, the songwriting level, all that stuff. So seeing, like, where we're going, I'm just, like, I'm just excited. I'm excited to see what ha what we do next and just everything in general. Yeah. Um, we've learned so much just from, like, everything that we're, we've been doing, all the touring that we've been doing. And it's, we've, Definitely become better musicians. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we've gotten a lot tighter. Yeah, we become a lot better at just like you know making music. Yeah, which is fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Our live show is like there now, so it's mostly. mostly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we like when I think of modern baseball for like I think of our demographic from like. Let, let's say like the lowest being like 12 yeah. and then I usually think to like 26 something like that but we've had like people who are like 30 on coming to our shows on their own and like, they're not moms and they're not moms and they're not like bringing people and they're not like they're there to see us and that's really really crazy we had some uh, I met this one guy at Slam Dunk um, who came to our show in Dublin. He was like, hey, just want to say hello, blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, love the set. You guys killed it. That's my fourth time seeing you this year. Hopefully we can make it more. And I was like, dude, you're like literally in your 50s. You're so cool. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, it's, been, it's crazy the amount of support we have. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Brendan. And I'm Slugworth. And we play in the band of modern baseball. Well, play is a loose term. <laughs> and you're watching Rock Made of Metal. Go uh, click here, here for subscribe. Subscribe. Click here for more videos. More, and more vi yeah, more videos. And do this for rocking in general. Yeah, this is how you rock out. Do this. And headbang, like so. So cool. more videos. More subscribe. Video rock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking, hold my hand, oh, hold it.